this phone is really weird. I have never seen such an inconsistent phone as the S25 Ultra. But before we continue with the speed test, let me show you some benchmark results. The first test I did was Geekbench 6. Of course, S25 Ultra should get considerably higher score than the S24 Ultra, but it is nice to know how much. S24 Ultra uses last year's Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, while S25 Ultra is equipped with Snapdragon 8 Elite. You are seeing the clock speed of the both processors on the screen. So, 8 Gen Elite should be significantly more powerful. Another important factor is that 8 Gen Elite is built on 3 nanometer process, while 8 Gen 3 was built on 4 nanometer process. And the results are not surprising. S24 Ultra got 2,198 single core and 6,651 multi core score, while S25 Ultra got 3,096 and 9,854 respectively. When we calculate the percentage difference, it's a whopping 40.8% single core and 48.2% multi core increase. It is a significant performance increase in just a year. However, S24 Ultra was struggling to cool the HN3. So, can this year's S25 Ultra can cool this new processor? To test it, I ran the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test. Even though this is a stress test, if you're playing demanding games on your device, then it is closer to your daily usage. The test consists of 20 minutes of graphically intensive load. Oof. Results are not good. S24 Ultra got 4861 on its best run, while S25 Ultra got 6572. It's a 35.2% increase compared to last year. However, the most important metric in this test was stability, and both of these devices did terribly when it comes to stability. Stability score for S24 Ultra is 55.3% while it is 53.5% for S25 Ultra. They are close enough to be considered as they are identical. As I suspected, this year's S25 Ultra also struggles with cooling its chip. For those who are not familiar with stability scores, it means that both of the devices lost almost half of their processing power after only 20 minutes of heavy use. Not good, Samsung. But what about the head-to-head -head real life test? I had chosen some popular apps to run. Some of them are basic apps and some of them require some processing to open. I ran this test more than 30 times and took the best run. When S25 Ultra opens Spotify, S24 Ultra is one app behind. Will this difference increase when we enter the more demanding apps? I also want to mention that the reason I delayed this video so much is that the release firmware of S25 Ultra was really bad and it was consistently slower than the S24 Ultra. I ran the test again with February patch to give S25 Ultra some fighting chance. I had never seen a phone so inconsistent as S25 Ultra. Samsung is really messed up when it comes to software. S25 Ultra finished the first round at 43 seconds mark while S25 Ultra just entering the gaming round and S24 Ultra finishes the first run at the mark of 52 seconds. Both of these devices have identical 12GB of RAM, so they should do identical in the second round in theory. And S25 Ultra finishes the run at 1 minute 4 seconds while S24 Ultra is in the middle of the second round. Finally, the S24 Ultra finishes the test at the mark of 1 minute and 15 seconds. Therefore, S25 Ultra is the winner of our speed test. So what do you think about the results? Please do share me down in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe and like. It massively helps me. And as always, take care.